the Utah Rental Agreement. In this video, we will tell you about the most noteworthy aspects of rental agreements in the state of Utah. What is a rental agreement? A rental agreement or a lease is a document that outlines the arrangement between two parties regarding a property rental. The one who's paying rent is called a tenant, while the owner of the property who lets the other party use it under certain conditions is called a landlord. The parties may also be called a lesser and lessee. Typically, a rental agreement lasts for 6 or 12 months, with rent being paid every month or every week. There is one federal disclosure that works for all lease agreements in the United States. This is called the lead disclosure, and it requires the landlord to tell the tenant about all known lead paint hazards. They should also provide the state-approved version of the pamphlet, Protect Your Family from Lead in Your Home. However, this requirement applies to not all types of residential dwellings. Required Disclosures Apart from the above-mentioned disclosure, the landlord should also provide the prospective tenant with a written inventory of the condition of the rental unit, excluding ordinary wear and tear. Another piece of information the tenant should get is any knowledge relating to methamphetamine manufacturing, use, or storage in the premises to be rented. One more disclosure the landlord is responsible for is providing the information about the names and addresses of the persons authorized to manage the premises to be rented and its owners. Security Deposits In the state of Utah, the maximum security deposit is completely up to the landlord. However, it is wise to check the county's ordinances too as they might differ. The landlord can use the deposit to pay unpaid rent or repair any property damages caused by the tenant after conducting an inspection for damages on the premise. The tenant should get an itemized statement specifying detriments by mail. The deposit should be returned by the landlord within 30 days after the termination of the tenancy or within 15 days after receipt of the tenant's new mailing address, whichever is later. The landlord who fails to return the security deposit is liable to the tenant for the amount of the full deposit withheld plus a civil penalty of $100 and court costs. Landlord Access The Utah Code requires the landlord to provide a 24-hour notice before entering the rented premises to inspect them, make necessary repairs, etc. Termination of Agreement To terminate a month-to-month -month tenancy, a notice to terminate the lease should be sent at least 15 calendar days before the end of that month or period. In the case of tenancy at will, which is tenancy without a set end date, at least a five-day notice is required. Notices for non-payment and non-compliance. If the tenant fails to pay rent or breaches the lease in another way, at least a three-day notice to pay or remedy the violation or quit should be mailed by the landlord in Utah.